So we, <laughs> so we arrived from Bariloche in Argentina and it was a five hour bus ride to Orsono, Orsono and then we had to buy a separate bus ticket from a company called Jack to Pucan. So we got in last night around 10 and stayed at a place called Hostel Monica that felt like a grandma's house. It was really cute but we moved to a hostel still at the private uh, for two more nights called the French Andes. And now we're just gonna explore the town, maybe do a half day hike if we can. So we're on the main street of O'Higgins and this town is very touristy with a bunch of agencies all lined up on this. And what you can do is for us, we wanna go to the hot thermals and we wanna go to do like a couple treks. So we're gonna go to the Oficina de Tourism and the bus station to see how much it would be to take the bus ourselves compared to the agencies because 90 something percent of the time it's cheaper to just do it yourself. The main draw for Pucon is the volcano. It's like one in five like super active volcanoes in the world. You could actually go and look in the middle and see the lava inside. Um, it is a tough hike though. It's like a five hour hike up and you're all in ice. But the cool thing is, and the best part is, you get to slide down on your butt all the way down for like 30, 40 minutes. It is quite expensive though. I think it ranges from like 70 to 100 dollars US. So we just picked up lunch at this huge, huge grocery store and we spent like 3,400 Chile Chileans. And that's around like six dollars. And we got some sopa, some beet salad, and of course, <laughs> I mean, South America. Boom! You'll notice how much bigger the empanadas are in Chile compared to Argentina. Hopefully it's good. This is an awesome grocery store lunch. Very, very happy with it. <laughs> oh, hello, Pedro. Oh, <laughs> you already know. You already know. I will never get over having dogs follow us. Give them a little bit of food, a little petting, and then hand sanitize, of course. It's so nice. All right, so we just checked into the French Andy's our room, and on the website it said that it was a Japanese style small room. It's definitely small. It's definitely got the word small. Here, I'll show you, ready? You can't stand up straight in the room, but this is it. So you walk in, got your skylight, boom. <laughs> and then we got this much space to put our bags. <laughs> Red wine, onions, garlic. <laughs> With what? With um, squash, zucchini. And then we have this new kind, new kind of mushroom that's really native to Chile in the Patagonia region. We found it outside of a grocery store. A lady was selling them and it was 1,500 for a huge bag of them. So Matt's going crazy cooking with something new. So we got on the bus and it left five minutes after we got there, which was cool. And it was 700 pesos each one way. So a little over a dollar to get here. Um, I don't really know what to expect, but I think there's gonna be waterfalls and a lagoon, so should be a good walk. We're approaching the security guard. He looks like he's pretty mad and pretty irritated. What are you talking about? It's the security guard. <laughs> Can we pass? Is it okay? Oh, what is <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's only two kilometers away. Very short walk to the destination.
Good morning. Well, it's like midday really. It's like 1.30. <laughs> um, it's another day in Pucan and we decided to go to the Las Personas. Personas. Personas hot springs and it was 1,500 to get here from the Pullman bus which is right next to Jacques bus terminal and the other one that we took yesterday they're all very close so it'll be 3,000 round trip and it was 8,000 to do the thermals and this is the most natural one only a few people here with the river flowing in the back so cool morning still from Pukan we are on our fourth day here and <coughs> we spent one night at a place called Hostel Monica two nights at a Hostel French Andes in the little Japanese room you saw but we decided that we read and heard about a place called Chili Kiwi Hostel it has like a 9.7 with almost a thousand reviews on Hostel World we've heard many other people telling us how amazing this is it's like one of the top ranked ones in Latin America, so of course we had to check it out ourselves and for only 8,500 pesos per night. Couldn't give it up because it was also one of the cheapest places in town. And this is a nine person. This is just a bit. I'll give you a whole tour of the property. It's incredible. So Matt will be up there and I'll be down there in the corner. And we're in the nine person room. And we all get our own little locker which is nice so I can put my full bag in there as a charger. Our own bathroom. And this is one of three kitchens on the property, which makes it incredible because I know there's like 50 beds here. So it's nice that there's many areas to cook in when everyone else is, so it's gonna be a good time. So from our little dorm area, you have kitchen number two right here and a hangout area. And over there, yeah, you can close it or private hobbit hole rooms. With the extra, extra money, you can stay in the tree house right here too. So cool. And this is the main house, which has the third kitchen and everything else included in here. So this is my favorite part about this hostel. This little swing right there. And you see the tables around the tree, made out of trees. And this bad boy. Welcome to the tree house, tree house, tree house. With the view. I mean, look how cozy Matt looks. Oh my god. I can't believe we found this. It took a little while, but wow. Oh man, so that beautiful waterfall I just showed you, um, we found it from our hostel Chiwi Kiwi, Chili Kiwi. When you're in Pukan, there's a lot of activities to do, right? Canyoning, and um, climbing the volcano, seeing the waterfalls, but those all cost money. This is like the one free thing that we found that's amazing in town. Check it out, I'll put the name, download the app Maps Me, when you come to this town, go find it, okay? So good, what a good day. Good morning from Bukan. This is our fifth day here and today I'm just going to be exploring around, hanging out. I signed up to do canyoning today but not enough people signed up for it. So I'll just be on my own, brought my book and journal, going to find a beach or somewhere to just write and chill at. Today Matt is climbing the big volcano behind me. He spent 75 Chileans to climb it with our hostel people at, Ch at Chile Kiwi. And it's going to be six hours up hiking for him. He'll be able to look into the volcano and see the lava, hopefully, which I'm hoping he can see because it looks like a clear, beautiful day. And he gets to slide all the way back down, so he's going to have a great day. And yeah, it's sunny out, it's beautiful. We have two more days left in Pukan, so making the most of it.
for our last night in Pecan. We're doing it big with the Grand Trunk, the vino in a water bottle, the popcorn in a plastic bag, and another amazing sunset. 